Hey, Seth. Hey, Matt. Uh, I'll be with you again. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, I am going to be the one you're going to talk to. Okay. I'm going to be the watch guy in about 20 seconds ago. <laughs> okay. Because they're busy and no worries. watch me meeting with the actual sheriff and this watch man is leaving. Okay. okay. So I'm going to be the one you talk to. Okay. I'll uh, fill out the form with you. Okay. And, and we'll do a, a complaint. Okay. Okay. If, like you had mentioned, you want to have a meeting with these two deputies to resolve your issue, uh, that is another option. Before, when, when he came and talked to me, mm. uh, he told me what you wanted to have a sit down with these guys. I know. I, when, when he said sit down, I thought he meant a sit no, down no, 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 to, no. to do that. Yeah. Hold on, Seth. Because yeah. he told me whatever he told me. Yeah. So, whether or not it was accurate, I wanted to tell you what I did. I had okay. already called one of the deputies. I said, Hey, there's a Mr. Seth Aronson out here. What is this violation? He said panhandling uh, in, in the roadway is what he said. In the roadway. That's what he said. Okay. He said, I said, what is, what is solicitation of vehicle, of motor vehicle? And I went, and I realized what he was talking about. Yeah. Um, it's not something I've cited anybody for. Yeah. I think I might, I might have, but it was not in this city. So I said, hey, he's interested in a conflict resolution meeting with you. When are you interested in that? He goes, oh, no problem. Um, I said, what time, Fletcher, okay. uh, I said, what time are you and your partner going to be, be available? He said, Any t today after 2, so they get here at 2. Okay. Um, but that's not what, um, that's not what you're talking about, uh, from what I gather, unless you'd be interested in just having a meeting with those two guys and talking about it and say, why did you do this, and why did you do this, and what was this, and wasn't I doing this, and... You know, like just a well, I would because a session, like between you two, because they said they cited you because you're out here panhandling. Okay. Were you, are you panhandling? I, like trying to get money, right? You're on a sidewalk with a sign. A sidewalk with a sign, which does not violate that and ordinance people, whatsoever. And people on a sidewalk are, are the only people stopping for you. What do you mean? Well, like people walking, pedestrians. Well, car, cars people? can stop, but I I was not flagging them down in any way or impeding them in any way. Okay, if you're holding up a sign, mm -hmm. uh, what, don't you think that's arguable that you're Not. asking vehicles to stop and give you money? But if read, you read, it. yeah, uh, you can read the, I mean, read the details of the law. There's absolutely nothing in that municipal code that I was in violation of and what, whatsoever. It specifically says you can't wave them down, you can't flag them down, you can't do anything, but what I was doing was not in violation of the law. Okay, now look, the deputies yeah. cited you saying you are violating that section, mm -hmm. and you know the next... Is to go to court and to fight it then. Well, absolutely. If he hadn't have grabbed me by my arm, twisted it behind my back, and thrown me on his, his squad car, I'd probably just be doing that now. But he decided to do all that, and his partner went through my phone, which is a violation of my Fourth wow. Amendment rights. And as I watched him go through my phone and read off a number to his partner, they came back in. I asked him what he was doing. He denied that he had just gone through my phone when I watched him do it. Okay. So, so, so there's so a little more to it than... So resolution isn't going to help you? Well, I would if they would explain why they did all those things. <laughs> so really, I can't say that that would occur. They would probably tell you... We didn't go through your phone. Even though I watched we him do it. We didn't slam you on the... We didn't twist your arm. Mm -hmm. you know, well, that's, we were violating the vehicle code section. Well, then we, well, we, we can read that. We can read the, the code section together. And I, like... Because <laughs> if, if we just going to say it. Yeah, we did. Well, I think you, your best bet is to fight it in court. Well, that's great, except that last night I had another cop come up. This time I was at a place uh, at 20th and I, and I was standing on the sidewalk away from business. Again, not violating any of that law, and he threatened to arrest me if I didn't stop. Yeah, is there another uh, Lancaster Municipal Code regarding panhandling that you're not aware of? No, that, he's, this is the one they wrote down, and I read both before and after it. The one before it talks about aggressive panhandling, the six, I guess it's 636.20, talks about aggressive panhandling, which I wasn't doing. 30 talks about panhandling itself, and then uh, .040 talks about the, the penalties for it. And it's the entirety of your municipal code. And the fact that officers seem to think that it says things it doesn't worries me. The fact that Officer Bertola told me that if I had had, even though I have a medical cannabis card, if he had caught me with medical cannabis, he could have 
confiscated and arrested me despite my medical cannabis card because apparently he doesn't understand the law, that law either. And it's kind of frightening that, you know, in a city like this, there's so many officers of law who don't seem to understand the laws that they're enforcing. Well, there's <laughs> arguments to every position. Yeah, that's... Hello. All right, hang on a second. All right, do you want to talk to those guys and come back after two and talk to them, or do you want to file uh, a formal complaint? Uh, I'd like to, can I do both? Can I do the formal complaint and then, because I, I just don't want well, to. Well, it's their option to engage in a conflict resolution with you. Okay. If conflict resolution is the option that you want to offer, mm -hmm. then that will be the end of the complaint. If you complain and don't want conflict resolution, you want to, you know, you, you just want to complain. Well, I don't want to complain. I want, I mean, if, if officer, if, if officers are manhandling people for, and violating their civil rights, I mean, they went through all of my stuff, basically, and, and I was not violating the law. I mean, yeah, I'll be right there. And then, and it's happened, and then it happened again. It was going to happen yesterday. He threatened to, the next guy. He threatened to arrest me. At least these guys said it was a ticket, and I said, "Fine, we'll do a ticket every time you see me, because I will fight it in court." Because you're, you're, I hadn't read it yet. At this point, I was just arguing. You may lose. Well, that, that's fine, but I was, I was, it was my. Yeah, but regardless of that, their behavior. As a commander, and you saying you want to complain? Yeah. I'm compelled to fill out the complaint. I would. I think it's better to have. Yeah. Can you hang on for a minute, and I'll help you Sounds the good. process, okay? Thank you. Uh, well, the guy I was talking to said he was going to take my complaint. Yeah, he actually went out in the field, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to handle it for you. Okay. Uh, I guess I should start from the beginning. Uh, let's see. He told me that you were cited by Deputy Fletcher and somebody else basically for uh, handling. I was, well, they had given me a warning when I was standing in front of the... Uh, Walmart. Which, so which Walmart? The one uh, by... Uh, you said what side? I'm trying to remember where exactly. The, there's something like four Walmarts in this town. <laughs> um, the the one by um, uh, the 99 cent store. The, uh, oh, that's West Side. Yeah, West Side. Valley Central. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So they, were, they, were, they saw me. They told me to move on. I did. Okay. I went to the gas station. Uh, I don't remember which gas station it was. I stood on the sidewalk outside of the gas station. Um, I've read. You're talking about the ga gas stations right there by the see the donut store. Yeah, I think so. Okay. The McDonald's or McDonald's like in the gas station. Oh, you see one a little further north. Okay. Yeah. I know where you're at. Okay. Um, they drove out of their parking lot. Apparently, they saw me. They flipped around. They came. They pulled out. Uh, they pulled in front of me. They said, "Well, we gave you a warning." I told them. I said, "Well, it's just my." Well, first of all, I left the place that they had told me to, mm -hmm. and. I'm not violating any laws here because your your statute is very clear, and um, I didn't. Let me ask you this: What were you doing at Walmart that they warned you about? I was standing there with a, a sign that said "Hungry, please help." Okay, all right. And then, so when they recontacted you at the gas station, what were you doing? Standing there with a sign that said "Hungry, please help." Okay. I was not flagging anyone down. I was not in any way, you know, stopping cars, impeding cars, or anything like that. I was totally uh, following the law. They pulled up. Uh, they said, we, we told you not to. I said, well, it's my constitutional right. It's my religious freedom. Both Jesus and Buddha told their, their followers to give up their possessions and to live on alms. And that's what I've been doing. And they said, uh, Officer Fletcher said, Jesus never said that. And I told him to read his Bible because Jesus did say that. And we went back and forth on that a while. Um, he, when they first came up, they, he asked me, where I sleep because I had all my homeless gear with me mm -hmm. and I said uh, it depends it's wherever I'm at and that apparently answers what set him off he grabbed me he grabbed my arm he twisted it behind my back he pushed me down onto his squad car and he said don't get smart with me I'm in charge of this conversation and you will do exactly what I tell you to do mm -hmm. he said if you don't do exactly what I tell you to do this is going to go very badly for you at which point I told him that I wanted him to give me a ticket so I could fight it at which point he said well I guess it will go the way you want it to um, at that point, he put me in the, in the squad car uh, while his partner completely searched my stuff, went through all my belongings, took everything out of the bags, put everything back in different places. Um, at one point, I looked around and I saw the partner, which is Officer Bertola, Bertola uh, going through my phone and then reading something off of my phone to Officer Fletcher. 
When they came back around, I asked them what they were doing with my phone. They said, oh, we weren't going through your phone. I mean, I watched him do it. I watched him in my phone reading something off, which Officer Fletcher wrote down. So uh, I was assaulted. I had my Fourth Amendment rights violated. I had my First Amendment rights violated. And I wasn't breaking the law that I was cited for. I'd have to look at this law because obviously, uh, you know, there's so many of them. I'd have to look at this one to see what that entails. Yeah, no, I believe me, I've read it three to four times in the past 24 hours. I was not breaking it. Yeah, in I, any I, way. like I said, I'd have to read it because I, you know, there's no way for me to know every single one of those. Yeah, of course, of course. Books. Well, the, the problem is, is that the officers on the street don't seem to know. They think that that law, uh, specifically, it means that there's no panhandling in the city whatsoever and they can stop anyone from panhandling at any time. And that's yeah. not what's written. Yeah, and there, there is a panhandling law. I don't know if that's the same one or that not. Is, that's the one. That's, and, uh, and I read it. And it's very specific. It, it delineates specific things you can't do. Yeah, you're not supposed to flag down cars and try to beg out of cars. You're exactly. not supposed to interfere with entryway, exit ways, normal pedestrian traffic, stuff exactly. like that. Exactly. And I wasn't that's, doing that. That's generally yeah. what they And say. I wasn't doing any of that. Yeah, so let me go look this up real fast. Okay. Uh, like I said, I will have to read that because I don't know I all, obviously by heart. I understand. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, as far as the other stuff, we'll get into that a little bit more after I read this, okay? Okay. And let me see. Uh, let me come back and I'll come back up to you, all right? Okay. Thank you. All right.